So we've got this rug in for cleaning and uh, before we do any type of before we add any moisture to the rug at all, we have to dust the rug. And uh, what that is, is to get rid of all the dry soil that's trapped in the, in the fibres of the rug. Um, and this is how we do it. We, we turn the rug upside down and uh, it's placed on the mat with holes in. Uh, and when we beat the back of the rug, um, all the loose uh, soil, such as uh, uh, grit and sand, etc., falls through. So first of all, we um, run the machine over in a north-south direction. And uh, once we've done that, we turn it round and go in a east-west direction. So we do that to the whole of the rug, and we'll show you how much uh, uh, depth, oh, yeah, not depth, uh, how much grit we get out of the rug, how much dry soil, sorry, will come out of the rug. Here we can see how much dust is actually coming out of the rug. Let's get in a bit closer. It's squeezed, being squeezed out from underneath. So uh, this really did need a good dusting. Okay, excellent. We'll carry on to the rest of the rug. That's a lot of dust, isn't it? Right, so we're ready to fold back the rug and we can uh, see how much dust there is. This is covered. Now we we'll just fold that rug back to there. Uh, if we open this up. Wow, that is a lot of dust. If we fold that back, fold that back and then we'll, uh, we'll just brush it up. We can see how much dust we had out of that rug. Where's the brush? Yeah, just let that drop. That's right. Okay. I'm putting it from the other end towards it. That's just a half the rug. That's just half the rug, yeah. We get into a nice little pile, you see how much we actually got. Okay, so that is how much dust we've got out of one half of that rug. And uh, when we fold back the other half, we'll obviously have twice as much dust as that. <coughs> okay, right. So the rug has had a good dusting and this is the top side and what we've done here this um, towel has been impregnated with the cleaning solution which we hope to use on the rug and uh, what we've done is uh, put these bricks on top and we're performing a bleed test what we're trying to establish is whether the colors in the rug are stable or will they run uh, if they're going to run then colors will um, run into the white uh, towel so that's been on for um 10 minutes or so uh Lloyd, do you want to take these um do you want to take the them off yeah whatever they're called bricks <laughs> right let's have a look at the back of the towel turn it upside down no nope, it doesn't look like there's any transfer color transfer no, no good so this uh this rug it's fine to to clean. All right, let's get on with the cleaning. So this rug is going to have a, a scrub clean, and what we're doing now is uh, just soaking the surface, making sure it's uniformly wet, uh, and not my shoes, Lloyd. <laughs> uh, and then we'll just apply the. Um, our cleaning solution, which is a uh, just a small amount all over. And then we'll get on with uh, the actual scrub clean itself. And we'll carry on spraying this, making sure it's universally Damp. Okay, so uh, 
cleaning solution is in the road and we started the scrub clean. And you see already how vivid the colours are. We should clean it very nicely. Very nicely done. Okay, we'll just carry on cleaning the rest of this rug. Right, so we scrubbed the uh, carpet, the rug, and now we're just going to rinse all of that um, cleaning solution out. Get it as dry as possible. And now, after we've done this, we will um, add more fresh water to dilute any clean solutions and, uh, and then remove that. So this is uh, the long process of uh, rinsing the rug. Okay, we'll carry on with that. So now this is a rinsing process whereby we're, uh, we're applying uh, fresh water at the same time as uh, extracting it. So, uh, that is rinsing any of the uh, clean solution, that soap that uh, you saw earlier is all coming out and all that can be left in the road is fresh water which uh, we can uh, dry in no time. Uh, so uh, we'll carry on doing this road, or rinsing this road. So this is the water that we managed to remove from the road. It's got a just and a lot of dirt came out of that road. So now the rug has had a good scrub wash. Uh, it's had its dust in, it's been rinsed. And now it's up on the drying rack. Drying, there's a lot of uh, air flow here. There's um, heaters and blowers. Uh, which should dry this rug in, uh, hopefully in a few hours. Um, all that needs to be done then is to inspect the rope once it's dry uh, before returning to the customer. So this lovely Persian rug has been uh, dusted, it's been uh, scrub washed, it's been uh, dried, uh, it's been rinsed as well, sorry, and, um, and dried and now we're just inspecting to see if there are any uh, problems before returning it to the customer. And uh, I can assure you that uh, there aren't any problems. There's uh, nothing to report back to the customer, apart from now they have a lovely, clean Persian rug. So uh, yeah, that's the uh, scrub clean uh, process for uh, uh, from start to finish.